Hello, in this video we will draw isometric view of combination of solids. The combination of solids are two solids I have used a square pyramid of base side 25 mm and axis 40 mm which is resting centrally over a cylindrical block of base diameter 50 mm and thickness 20 mm. We have to draw isometric view of this com combined solid. For that we will draw isographic projection first. For that first draw XY line. Now we will draw top view of cylinder which will be a circle. So draw two horizontal and vertical lines get center point of this. From this center point draw one circle of diameter 50 mm or radius 25 mm. This is top portion top base and bottom base of the cylinder. Now over this cylinder we have uh, this pyramid of base side 25 mm. So in top view this pyramid will appear as a square and the length of square will be 25 mm. So I have marked two points both side of this center point. Uh, this is 12.5, this is 12.5. So th this total length is 25 mm. From these two points draw two lines, two vertical lines. Again this length is 12.5, this length 12.5. In this way you have drawn this. 25 mm long line complete this square this is your base of square pyramid of 25 mm side now join these corner points this point is apex of square pyramid and these sides are the slant edges of the pyramid now we will draw front view of this height of cylinder is given 20 mm so you will get one rectangle for uh, cylinder will appear as a rec rectangle of height 20 mm so complete this so this is cylinder in front view it is appearing as a rectangle and in top view as a circle. Now on top of this you have to draw this pyramid, project these two lines. So these are two end points, two ends of the pyramid. Now project the center point or axis. Height of this axis, this length is given uh, 40 mm. So take this length as 40 mm, top point is apex. Join apex with other ends, these ends. So these two lines are slant edges. Uh, these four slant edges are there, so two are visible, these two are slant edges are visible. In this way you have completed front view and top view of the given combined solid. Now we will draw a, a isometric view of this. For that we will enclose this bottom base, this bottom base, this circular base uh, by a square. I have you drawn this square around this bottom base. In this front view and top view all the horizontal and vertical lines are called isometric lines. For example, this line you can see, this line, these are horizontal lines, these two are vertical lines, this is horizontal, these two horizontal lines, these are vertical lines. All these lines are called isometric lines and these isometric lines are drawn along these three isometric axes. In top view, in top view all horizontal and vertical lines are drawn along these two lines. That means 30 degree, 30 degree line. For example, if this line is there, so this will be inclined at an angle of 30 degree from horizontal. This line also will be inclined 30 degree uh, from horizontal. Now in front view, horizontal lines are drawn along 30 degree line, and but vertical lines are drawn along this vertical axis. Now we will draw one line. In this line, I have marked one point. Now this point will be any of these four corner points. You can take any of these four corner points. I am taking this corner point, uh, top left, uh, bottom left corner point. So this point I have drawn. Now this length, this length is, uh, this, this is a square and this length is 50 mm. So from this point I am drawing these two lines. You can see these two lines, these two lines are horizontal and vertical in top view therefore these two lines should be drawn along this these two directions 30 degree so i have drawn these two lines along 30 degree both 30 degree inclined and length of these lines are equal to 50 mm uh, which is the size of this square this length you have to measure this length same length you have to draw here at an inclination of 30 degree from this end point draw one line which is parallel to this and from this point draw another line parallel to this in this way you will complete this uh, you will get one rhombus. Now inside this rhombus you have to draw this circle. For that we will use four center method which is approximate method which is not correct method but still it is easy that's why we are going to use this four center method. First you have to locate four centers in this uh, rhombus. So you draw diagonals. Now in this diagonals, smaller diagonal, this one is smaller diagonal. So these two are the two points of uh, two center points. So 
out of these four centers, these are the two centers. Now other two centers, how can you get? From this point, join middle point of this line. Similarly, from this point, join middle point of this line. I have drawn these two lines. So you can see that when you join this with middle point, when you join this point with middle point of this line, intersecting point will be your one center. Similarly, in this side also, you join this point with center of this line. Similarly, this point with center of this line. When you join this, you will get intersection point. This is another center. So in this way, you got four centers. From these four centers, you have to draw this circle. This circle will appear as a uh, as, a, as an ellipse, this as center, this as radius, this length as radius and draw an arc. So this is arc you have drawn. Next take this as center and this as radius, draw another arc. Similarly you can draw this side also. Okay, you can uh, draw this as center, you have drawn this one and uh, this point as center, you have drawn this one. In this way you have drawn this base circle, base circle of that means this part of the circle this you have drawn here there is another circle at top portion now position of this top, top layer top layer is at a distance of 20 mm so thickness is 20 mm so this height is 20 mm so this top portion is at 20 mm so at 20 mm high again you have to draw same ellipse now for that I use offset method in offset method what i will do i will uh, i will shift all these four points these four because again you need four points for drawing this ellipse. So these four points can be obtained by shifting these four points vertically upward direction at 20 mm. So draw lines from each of the point from each of these four points. I have drawn vertical lines of size or of length 20 mm and mark these points as the four center points. So these are now these are four center points. Now from this center point take same radius this one this radius draw arc. Similarly, this side also with this as center, same radius, draw another arc. Now, start point and end point I don't know. So, you can take any start point and any end point. Later, we will uh, erase extra portion. Draw another, use this as center, this point as center and this radius, same radius which we have taken in, in drawing this ellipse. Now, this as center, draw another arc. In this way, you have completed this top portion of ellipse. Now, this extended part, you can erase it. This extended, because you were not knowing where it is starting and where it is ending. So, this part you can later uh, erase. Now, join these two ellipse with tangent line, tangent vertical lines, which are tangent to both the ellipse. So, this line is tangent to both ellipse. Similarly, this line is tangent to both ellipse. In this way, you have completed the cylindrical part. Now, in this cylindrical part, this portion, this portion inside of this portion, this part is not visible. Similarly, this is extended part. You can erase all these things. So, now this is what you are getting, uh, cylinder. Now, over this cylinder, above this cylinder, you have to draw this pyramid. Now, to draw this pyramid, you need center point of this ellipse or center point of this surface. So center point you, you can see here at bottom you have center point. So in top in this uh, in this ellipse also you can get center point. What you have to do again this height is 20, 20 mm. So from this center point draw one line. I have drawn one line from this center point here to here and mark this point. Mark this point. This is your center point of the top ellipse. Now along in this center point this is what you have got this uh, now you have to draw this square around this point uh, so first draw this line this line is parallel to this line that means from point this top point draw one line which is parallel to this line and length of this line is equal to length of this line this total length is equal to 25 mm that means from this point 12.5 here and 12.5 here in this way you draw one line which is equal to 25 mm. From these two endpoints, from these two endpoints, draw lines. I have drawn one line which is parallel to these lines, parallel to these lines, parallel to this line, uh, which is equ again equal to 12.5 this side, 12.5 this side. At this point also you draw 12.5 here, 12.5 here. Once you get all this, from these two endpoints, end endpoints join these endpoints. So in this way you get another rhombus here, another rhombus you got. So this is the base of the pyramid, base four uh, corners of the pyramid you have obtained. Now how to get apex? Now this height, again in front view you can see this line is vertical. So you, here also you will get a vertical line. 
now you have to draw one vertical line of this height is given 40 mm so one vertical line from the center you have to draw i have drawn this line from center i have drawn one line which is equal to this length is equal to 40 mm at this top this is your apex mark one point now join this point with these corner points now you can see when you join this so these three corner points this is one corner point another corner point another corner point this corner will not be visible so join these three lines i have drawn now base side you can draw these two base sides this way you have completed isometric view of the com uh, combined figure now in this figure uh, you can erase all unnecessary lines uh, construction lines and uh, you don't need to show any hidden lines by dashed lines in this isometric view uh, otherwise it may create um, confusion so after erasing all this you will get something like this uh, which is the isometric view required isometric view of this combined solid so these are the dimensions given in this way you can complete isometric view of the given solid